Hey everyone, my name is Jorge Peruzzi and today I want to talk to you about your favorite supply chain product, Supply Chain Insights. So what this product does essentially is that you can upload all of your data into one platform, whether that's sales, whether that's shipments, whether that's deliveries, whether that's inbound, outbound, everything you can upload into here. And it will integrate with the news and external events to give you warnings such as um, floods, tornadoes, anything that may impact your shipments. Um, and also, um, you can speak to it in, in um, with natural language processing. So you can ask Watson um, to query for your sales shipments, sales orders, um, and you're able to dis uh, figure out if anything's going to disrupt your supply chain and how to best tackle that problem. So enough about um, enough talk and let's get into the code. So before we actually get into the um, all the steps for getting your account and getting your um, API keys and everything, I want to show you exactly what this product does and why it's useful. So first of all, our kind of our dashboard, our homepage is this operation center, which is really nice because you can see both sales and supply and you have both manufacturing and wholesale and you have all these different filters here so you can filter by destination you can filter by origin you can filter by uh, country supplier uh, customer etc um, what's also nice is that you have these external events um, so supply chain insights is integrated with news um, so that if there's any sort of natural disaster a flood a, um, a hurricane, anything that may disrupt your shipments, you'll be able to see that. So for example, we have this river flood warning in Wisconsin. Um, so we can go ahead and click on that. And you can see now, um, you know, we, we have this um, warning Saturday 1 a.m. Um, in Wisconsin, and you can see this um, supplier is actually in that um, in that same region so that this is um, this is going to actually affect the supplier and you can see again um, that the flood or that the warning is in this county and this is where the supplier is um, so that's really nice um, you're able to kind of foresee and mitigate these problems within your supply chain so that's really nice one last thing I want to show you is this open sales orders so if we drill, uh, drill a little bit deeper, we can see that um, 183 out of 220 of the sales orders are not fulfilled. Um, and this will tell us it'll impact seven customers, and this is the revenue that will be impacted by that, right? So 81% actually, or yeah, 81% um, is, is what's actually gonna be affected. And if we cl uh, click on this, we can see exactly which of the orders are affected. Um, so we see all these sales numbers, and we can see that there's, um, you know, 148 of them. If we click on one of these random ones, we can go ahead and see that the concern, and it's that there's no shipping date. Um, so we see the product, we see the quantity, um, we see the requested ship date, um, all this stuff. So that's kind of nice. We can drill a little bit deeper. And now, if we want to uh, talk to Watson and ask, ask about this product, we can do that now. So from the top right corner, this is the Watson icon. So you can say something like, um, show me sales order. And this, and then we have this specific number. I found the following sales order related to ZB0001391 from Demo Carrier. So this is nice because you can actually, and you can do this with the microphone too, of course. You can use, uh, you can just um, speak show me all open sales orders I found the open sales orders from demo carrier so now we can go ahead and drill down into the orders I found the following sales order related to ZB 0001346 from demo carrier um, so again so you can see the shipment number so that's kind of just a quick overview of how you use Ask Watson. So you can go ahead and ask um, about a sales order, a sales shipment, drill down into the information, um, and just kind of another easy way to interact and um, see all the data within your platform. So 
kind of the last step here, which is really nice in this product, is this resolution room. So if there's any concerns, for example, um, uh, on the open sales orders, um, again, this is a collaboration platform. So for example, we see that all of these are, there's a concern here. Um, you can go ahead and create a resolution room. Um, I don't, I haven't invited anyone into the platform, but if you do, um, once you do that, you can invite your other stakeholders. Um, for example, we have this open resolution room for this supply order, um, and you'll have all the details for the supply order in here. Um, you can go ahead and take notes in here. You can um, decide exactly what you want to do with the shipment. Do you want to take an alternative route? Do you want to cancel it altogether? Do you want to refund this, uh, refund your customers, etc.? Um, but essentially, you'll you'll be able to to res, uh, resolve everything you want into here and collaborate and figure out exactly what you want to do. So that's just a quick little overview of the platform. And now I'll show you how to um, get started, um, how to integrate with the UPS APIs and get uh, delivery information, and also um, kind of um, a, a quick walkthrough of, of how to get started with this platform.